So if y'all wondered what happened to my white truck I was going to do, well, Just Tune bought it from me. And he's already got this thing looking pretty damn good. It's got stock lug nuts on there, though. That's real nice on those welds. Yeah. But he's got the welds on it. Got it lowered. He actually went ahead and repainted, like, the whole truck. Uh, and then he's waiting on his front tires to show up for the welds so that way they match. And then he's doing an LS Turbo 400 uh, Turbo. It looks really good, though. Interior in this thing is so nice. Got that peanut butter. Dang, Callaway, these doors open nice. Just got the bed liner put in. It looks really nice. It did a good job. It's going to be a nice looking truck when it's all done. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel today. We are going to actually be working on my C8 Corvette today. Uh, can't really do much to them, but just doing a couple of mods. Just want to have you follow along and see what we're doing. And uh, right now we're doing exhaust, putting a different spoiler on, uh, changing the bottom diffuser, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh... We're gonna actually lower the car uh, with lowering springs, even more than so much just turning down the adjustable pucks on the shocks. So uh, we got the AWE exhaust on and uh, check it out, looks pretty good. So we got the exhaust on. This is an AWE, this is a touring edition exhaust. It basically bolts up right up to the factory catch right there. And it has no valves in it, but it does come with these little simulators uh, that basically so you don't have a check engine light on which is pretty cool it's got also the black tips which look really good on there the factory tips is probably one of the things i hated most about the whole c8 as a whole was the factory exhaust tips so we got rid of those and right now steven is over here uh doing the oh the bottom part of the bumper i call it the diffuser but it's actually just the lower half of the fascia of the rear bumper Someone hit me last weekend. Hit that right, Steve. Yeah, someone. But that's all it did. It just got into that part right there. The orange part's still good. So luckily, the dealership had these, and they already come painted uh, carbon flash. So I don't even have to paint the dang thing. So it's already painted from the factory. So we're swapping that over right now while I've had the bumper off. And then we got a really cool carbon fiber spoiler to go on the back as well. I'm over here uh, tenting the taillights. The I'm gonna leave that part clear, but the the red and the orange just kind of clashed a little bit with me, so I just tinted them down so that way it's gonna look nice and black uh, on the back of the car. And over here we have one of our C8 carbon fiber spoilers. This is a real nice spoiler. It's just gonna sit on the back of the car like this. Looks really good, but this is a really quality piece. Forgot the brand of it. I'll look it up and tell you in a second though. Got the other tail light over here drying down and we'll peel the tape off and see what it looks like here in just a few minutes. We got the old piece here. You can see the damage there. Not too bad, we got really lucky there. And then here is the brand new piece that we just got delivered from the dealership. As you can see, it's already all carbon flash, which is really cool. I'm so glad it was already painted. And get this thing fixed back up. Okay, we got the stock spoiler off and we actually got the new bumper on right there. The tail lights got the spoiler on, the new lower part of the bumper, and then look at these new exhaust tips. Gosh dang, it looks so much better. Looks way better, Steve. Oh yeah, I like the spoiler. Yeah, the spoiler's cool. It's got that like dang, nice that. and sleek look to it. We still got the tape. We're gonna wait till we get everything bolted down, then we'll peel the tape off and really glue it down to the bumper. Yeah, that looks sweet. I like it. Yeah, that's cool. Gives it a really cool look. It is that time. We're ready to start the C8 up and hear this AWE exhaust. This is the Touring Edition. It's not the race mode. The Touring one sounds a lot better on the 6th Gen Camaros. That's why I kind of went with this one. So we'll see. I don't want anything too loud and too crazy. This is a this is a cruiser, people. So Steven's going to fire it up right now. 
Watch the door sills. <laughs> yep. Because it, 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 it's got like a stock sound, but it's just a little louder. Yeah. It's got that, still got the high pitch sound to it. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds really good, Steven. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, I didn't want it to be too loud. I thought it was going to be loud because the Camaros seem to be really oh, loud. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it has that good tone. It does. I like the way that sounds. That thing sounds really good. It sounds bad for a Chevrolet, doesn't no, it? it sounds perfect, I think. Yeah, perfect. sounds better than a Coyote? It's hard to make a Coyote sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the TRX though with the new wheels. Oh my gosh, this thing looks good. I love it. Everyone's got these wheels, but they look so good. It's hard not to, it's hard not to want these things. So we got the TRX PCM back. We are gonna be tuning this thing and doing our KP800 package on this one, uh, probably early next week once Justin gets back from Iowa. We'll have this thing ready to rip and uh, we'll do some dragging testing and stuff. We did a red one yesterday and uh, made a big difference. So can't wait to get mine done. Okay, we got these springs from Paragon Performance. I didn't even know they existed until I started browsing and seeing how to get this C8 to sit lower. And sure enough, they had some in stock. So ordered them online, came in a few days later. So props to Paragon Performance. That's where these springs are from. Oh, enter to win a hundred dollar gift card. Yeah, they look just like a factory spring. So these are supposed to lower the car, Stephen, like another half inch over where they're all the way dropped. Okay. Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah, I think it'll Get be perfect. Wheel gas. Yeah. It's crazy how oh, the it's crazy how like that other car sits lower than this one. It's the same. Yeah. I wonder if it's those pucks in the front. They just lower it that much oh. more. They must be all different. And then the mag ride cars, it, when you lower them on the adjustable shocks, they sit lower than the non-mag ride cars for yeah. whatever reason. I don't know what it is. And you can get the lift without mag ride like the other Yeah. Cars. It's weird. So they all sit different. Yeah, they do. <laughs> maybe this is a pre-production car, so maybe they changed something. Yeah. So this is a pre-production car, everyone. This thing was built in uh, September or yeah, yeah, September of 2019. So it's got a lot of cool little writing messages on there that we found just pulling panels off. Uh, a bunch of like, you know, like number two or number three or, you know, it has the dates on there from like July of 2019, which is really cool. Uh, but these cars were all hand built, you know, with a little bit more fine tooth comb than say, you know, a normal production car today because, well, they were training the workers on these cars and how to build them. So it's pretty cool to have one of these cars and be able to, you know, take it apart and maybe find some more hidden little messages on there. But the exhaust and everything fits really good. Uh, right now we're going to work on getting this, uh, probably the rear shocks out or maybe do the front first and uh, get this thing lowered down. We'll see how low it sets with these springs. I hope it's slammed because this thing sits way too high. Got one spring done. Easiest coils to swap in a vehicle ever. <laughs> yep, that's it. Yeah, it's in. They just unbolt it. 
Take it out. Pit stop. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's low. That's much better. C8 turned out damn good. It finally sits how I've been wanting it to sit. Look at that, no wheel gap at all up in the front. Gosh dang. Hey Steve, what do you think? I think it's perfect. It absolutely has the perfect stance now. It almost has that exotic stance. Yeah, yep. Before it had the Grandpa Corvette stance. You can see the comparison with yeah, the right. before and after the springs. Yeah, so this one's lowered on the factory coilovers over there. And that is with the lowering springs. Yeah, that's right where you want it. That is, yeah, that's legit right there. The spoiler gives it a, like a really sleek look on the back too. Yeah. Doesn't even look like a damn Chevrolet nice no more. If you could wrap the roof to match. I know. Yeah. I asked Justin about painting it. He said the paint doesn't go very well on that. Uh, that. Roof. Yeah. He said the last one it like crinkled up on him. He had to replace the guy's oh, roof. No. Yeah. What that? No. So I was like, dang. So I got to figure out something because yeah. that just doesn't work. And what I'm talking about, guys, I'm talking about how it's black right there in the middle of the orange. It just really bothers my OCDness. What are the roofs that have this? Well, what I want to, yeah, so the carbon roof she can paint, but this is yeah. the, the Lexan. Yeah. That's what I'm trying you to think of. Through it. But maybe I can find someone in town that's got an orange one that wants to trade, maybe wants a transparent roof. Oh, and I can just yeah. swap them out. Brad? Brad! <laughs> when he gets up here, we'll have to bug him. <laughs> maybe I'll swap it without him looking. Yeah. yeah.